apologies if I sound like I've got a cold. I have got a cold. Yesterday we found ourselves with Mr. Chippy on a mission going round three places in the West Midlands picking up faulty guitar amplifiers which is part of what he does and um, he mentioned where we were going and what was that Mark? Kidderminster. Kidderminster. And Mark said oh there's a CB shop at Kidderminster. I said, oh really? So we went to the CB shop while we were at Kidderminster and we bought this Thunderbolt T800 which we haven't had one of these in so that's why I bought it and we will see what we can do with it. Very nice gentleman and his wife and it's nice to see a real CB shop and he's been there for about 30 years which is even better. Right, I will uh, open it up and we'll see what this Thunderpole T800 Multinorm does. Right, so we've got it out of the box. It's an interesting serial number, isn't it? 46. So it's, um, as Mark was pointing out, it isn't one of these which does 24 volts as well. So you've got a die cast heatsink back socket for extension speaker we'll switch the power supply on and we'll switch it on and it should come up with UK which it has and flicking between the AM and FM switch it should bring us onto the EU channels which it does so that's even better channel 9, channel 19, up, down RF gain according to the instruction book only works in AM mode so that won't us interest us at all. For those of you who thought the RF game works on uh, UK frequencies on FM, it doesn't. Um, right, so we'll select channel 20. Go oh, on the mic, you've got up, down, and the auto squelch. Now, is it auto squelch or is it preset squelch? That's something we'll find out. And there we are, now that's a quite nice, nifty little set. So I'll open it up. Okay, so we've opened up the Thunderbolt T800 and we're greeted with a fiberglass printed circuit board. And interestingly enough, I'm not, I don't think I've seen this in a CB before, we've got a read relay just there. That's interesting. Modulation transformer for AM, quite clearly there. And we can unplug the speaker. Well, it's supposed to be able to unplug the speaker, but what's happened is the whole connector's come away. I'll just mend that. Right, we've got no idea what anything does in here. I've done a little diagram. We know what the odd thing does, like the frequency set. We'll do that right away. So we're going to transmit. This mic's very, very light. Dan, oh, we're on channel 2. We want channel 20. We always optimise these for the centre of the, of the UK band. There's no interest in the EU band around here, but if you want to, if you're interested in the UK and the EU band, then you'd optimise these either on channel 40 of EU or channel 1 of UK, so you're in the centre of the frequency, but we're in the centre of the frequency of the UK system. So, uh, what frequency have we got? Well, it should be 2779125. It's 729135, so it's slightly higher, which you'd expect it to be. So I'm going to just zoom in because they're quite small controls. Now we've got the reference crystal there, and we've got a little trimmer just there. So I'm going to twig is broken. Oh. How annoying. Right, having put it on frequencies, there are no adjustments for the transmit 
line up at all. It's all preset, which in a way is a good thing, so you know it's always right. So what you have is you've got transmit power on this kind of radio. As it's come out of the box, it's just doing over the three watts. And let's see whether we can get it to do the full four. So we're on that preset there. And what have we got? Well, about three and three quarters, so it's uh, not too bad. And of course, it's been on for a bit. When you transmit from cold, it could probably develop a little bit more. The, serv the, the instruction manual warns you the duty title is 10% transmit and 90% receive, which is, I would think, normal. So, we'll just make a note on our sheet that that's TX power. The next preset we need to determine is the one which is going to do the transmit meter. And when I key up, I get all four lights. So we'll just uh, find the right one for that. Right, we've looked high and low, and we cannot find a preset that does the uh, bar graph display. We've turned the radio down to half uh, to a tenth of a watt. And it doesn't matter what you turn it to; it's always a full set of bar graphs. And I've got a sneaking suspicion, without looking at a circuit diagram that it's a glorified transmit light which just lights up four LEDs. Hope I'm wrong but I can't see an adjustment for that. Right, so moving now on to the deviation. Getting our test oscillator out. It's reading just over the two. The deviation control is the one just there. The capacitor and it's just behind there. And we'll just set that up with the whistle test so that it doesn't exceed 2.5. Voila, and that's set it up for 2.5, so that's your deviation. We're just going to reprogram the radio now for EU so we can set the AM uh, mod. So the instructions say this turn off the radio. Whilst pressing the transmit button, and the down button on the microphone together turn on the radio which is exactly what I've done using the up and down button and we want C E we want EU don't we Mark EU EU. There we are. And then what do we do? Then turn the radio off again. Do you know what? You wouldn't remember. You wouldn't guess that in a month of Sundays, would you? That pressing the transmit and the up. Or was it the down button? Down. Yeah, transmit and down button while setting, switching the radio on. Uh, puts it into the uh, country programming mode. So there, we're now in EU, and I'll just set it on channel 20, and we're just going to do the AM mod with you. Just for completeness. So, having switched the oscillator on, we're in AM mode on the CPT channel, channel 20, and it's the adjustment just there. I think it is. Yes, it is. And we've now set that for 90 odd percent modulation. <whistles> Voila, that's fine. What's your frequency on AM then? If is, is there an adjustment for AM? No, it won't be different. It's uh, one master oscillator. Yeah, oh, right, okay. uh, So we should be on uh, Little Tellers 27775, channel 20, on the CPT that's, band. That's Uh, right, well, actually, I think that covers everything, to be honest. So we've done the frequency, on the transmit frequency, which is there. There aren't any adjustments for the RF... Um, um, any, well, no, no. The uh, 
power level is the preset there and the deviation for FM is there and the modulation for AM is that one there so we'll just reprogram it back for UK and we'll see you on the receive side of this video thank you for watching